Hello, my name is Julian Cox. I'm Head of Employment London at BLM. Welcome to this vlog four in our series of vlogs, Life After Lockdown. Now, in a stunning move last week, the Chancellor, Rishi Sunak, announced the extension of the coronavirus job retention scheme until the end of October. Now, the scheme in its current form is going to stay in place and intact until the end of July. But from then on, there's going to be two important changes to the scheme. First of all, the government is going to allow for part-time working. So previously, employees couldn't carry out any work while still receiving furlough pay. That's going to change. And secondly, the government is going to ask for some sort of contribution from employers towards payment of furlough pay. But that raises a number of questions. Is there going to be a link, for example, between part-term working and the government continuing to pay furlough pay? To what level of contribution is the government looking for from employers in terms of paying furlough pay. Also, there's a question of holiday pay, which continues to accrue during furlough periods and can be taken for up to two years hence. What's gonna happen with that? Are employers gonna find that sustainable, having to pay for the scheme and also with holiday pay continuing to build? Well, we'll have to wait and see what the Chancellor's got to say at the end of May. The devil, as they say, is always in the detail. Now, if your business is dealing with any of these issues, any employment issues arising out of the easing of lockdown, whether this issue, what the issue covered in this vlog or any other issue for that matter, then we at BLM are here to help. We're offering a free half an hour consultation to employers in relation to any issue, any employment issue that you might have, either by video conference or by telephone. If you would like to take advantage of that offer, then please follow the link at the end of this vlog.